I beg, I, beg, I beg you, baby, kick it to the left now. If you wanna eat it, no pressure. I, I only do rage, no Tesla. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing something totally different on my channel. I'm actually doing a panel, my first ever panel, and I have these lovely ladies with me. So today's video is basically going to be about what we're going to be doing differently in 2020. I'm not going to focus too much on what we're going to leave in 2019, just what we're going to do differently moving forward into 2020. So today's panel is going to be broken down into three sections. The first section is going to be about self and self-realization. And then the second section is going to be about friends. And the last section is going to be about love life. All right, so let's have a quick introduction. Hi guys, I'm Aura. Hey guys, I'm Karen. Hi guys, I'm Michelle. Hi guys, I'm Lola. Hey guys, I'm Josephine. Hi guys, I'm Mathia. And we are just <laughs> period. Okay, so let's kind of start this off with an icebreaker. How did 2019 go for y'all? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I like 2019. Me actually. too. So I feel like years. 2019 was like two, it felt like two different years. Yeah. I mean, I feel like all yeah, years yeah, feel like yeah. that. No. Especially being in school. Dude, I like the beginning. The beginning was like, yeah. The, it was, yeah. yeah. ourselves moving through the year so the first question what is the biggest personal lesson that you learned in 2019 one thing I do is I do like a lot of people because especially for my friends like I care about my friends very deeply but sometimes um, I would like feel hurt if I not get that same energy back yes. and so I just learned like I look charge to the game like honestly you have to understand that when you do things for people you shouldn't do it with the intention that they're gonna get like do the same thing mm -hmm. back to you yeah, true. but at the same time keep a note of that like you're not you shouldn't be overextending yourself to people yeah. that you're over here killing yourself or, like bending yourself backwards to people that if the, the, the same situation was happening to you would they be there for you no <laughs> I, don't know. I guess for me um, so I graduated 2019 and so that has been like itself a journey of its own just with like trying to figure out like you know career and you know just getting the ball rolling with like everything I have in store and so definitely just in this journey so far there have been a lot of like hoops and hurdles and you know when things to go a certain way and God's like nope it's gonna go different so just being very open to just the journey of life like you can have your own plans for how you want things to go but at the end of the day like his plans gonna reign supreme so yeah. just being very open to that um, my biggest lesson in 2019 is just that manifestation is real and if you right. manifest something and you put in the work like it can really happen yes, because I literally saw it happen to me right before my eyes. So. Mm -hmm. True. Very, very true. Yeah. We love that. Um, the next question is what do you do when you find yourself in a bad or cloudy headspace? I take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I'm going to try that. I like to take a shower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I go bald. <laughs> 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 Loki, my best way because in the past I used to be like a heavy eater. I find myself eating a lot and like depression eating and stuff like that. I just feel like a better way of doing that for me has been like writing my thoughts down mm -hmm. so that like when I do get out of that headspace, I mean, it makes me kind of like get everything off my chest because like it's kind of the same way of like venting to your friend. Mm -hmm. So, like, writing everything down and then also like when I do get out of that headspace and I look back at it, like, I can just see like the growth and like how much farther I've come just from that alone. For me, um, I do like three things. So, I, I do the notes, like, or like I write it down. So, my notes app is like my favorite app on my phone because when I'm mad, I want to go off on somebody instead of just doing directly. Let me do all my notes. I do this. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go to bed. Write on the notes. Yeah. Okay. I have notes no from here. country or even like a different city just something to just be out and about and just have like not have anybody know me not have any kind of ties to the foreign land or whatever oh and just be able to like rediscover myself and reconnect with myself it's a spiritual journey almost of its own yeah that is 2020 i'm doing that yeah. <laughs> 
basically like, one thing that I've learned or like I'm learning now too to attack the problem like as soon as you can because mm -hmm. one thing about me like I don't hold grudges or let things like run out like if I have a problem with you or a problem with something I'm trying to fix it right there yeah. and then because like, the whole thing like I'm gonna go to sleep I'm wake up I'm still be mad so yeah. let's get up so I'm gonna <laughs> Peacefully. Last question. Do you feel that money is the real source of happiness? I don't know about the real source, but it's sure I'm going to start. I feel like money, like for me, like spiritually, I feel like money is a source of happiness for the flesh. But spiritually, like you're never going to be full yeah. Yeah. with money because that's not what you like. That's not what your body is craving. Like, spiritually. Yeah. So I just don't like, of course, money can serve a lot of problems for the flesh. But like, and that's why you see rich people like they're still yeah, not they're happy. So they're not. Like, it's not the yeah. real source of pure, genuine happiness. Yes. My thing is, I just rebuke financial issues. Like yes. that, that, that can cause that depression, like, okay. that can that cause too. issues for a lot of people. So for me personally, I don't think money is necessarily the root of happiness or anything, but you know, the presence of it in balance with like other things is just necessary. Money for sure buys like convenience. Yeah, yeah. convenience that's for sure. Temporary yeah. happiness. Yeah. Temporary, Temporary happiness. That's that's the convenience for mm -hmm. sure. And it provides access to things that make you happy. Like, yeah. I mean, I love traveling. I can't travel in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs>section now we're gonna be talking about friends I'm sure a lot of us have like been through a lot of stuff with friends and like learned a lot of things about friends and learned things about ourselves through friends so like friends is one of the biggest parts of like our lives for sure so first question on friends what type of friends are you going to avoid use us <laughs> use us You have friends that you know they are like they're not true like that you know that you can't pick the phone up and call them and like they'll come and help you you know I don't have friends like that so like anybody that I'm friends with I know I can count on them I know that I can you know hit them up even if we have our little issues it's fine you know we can always fix it mm -hmm. but I love other people they're just people that are living. <laughs> My thing is, is like for me, energy attracts energy. So mm -hmm. if I'm not even attracted to you off the bat, like you're, I don't have to do the whole avoiding thing because we just wouldn't come yeah, in contact anyway. I'm not the most sociable person anyway. So I guess for me, I'm not. I don't know. I don't really try to avoid people. I just stay clear from people whose energy I do not mm -hmm. get along with, and that's yeah. it. And if it's feeling off, I'm just yeah. gonna stay away from you and listen to your intuition about it. Friends that secretly compete with you, that's one thing Ooh. I love. Wow. Friends have ended. Like, baby, you like, like oh, you're, I'm over here chilling. You're secretly having secretly. a little conversation. That's because, like, that's because, like, no. like, 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 you need people that are, like, on a journey within themselves, yeah. like yeah. efficient in themselves. Because if you're efficient in yourself and your friend is not efficient in themselves, they're always going to go them to yeah. you. Yeah. If you have to be good for yourself and they like, don't, like, it's always going to be like a kind of like a conflict. They need to be assured yeah. in themselves. Of course, none of us are like, you know, established. Like, we still have lots of us, but you need to be assured in yourself. Yeah. Like, like, how do you not, like see your friend doing something good and instead of you to be motivated Mo to do better, you're over here being jealous? Like, that should be like, that's they're not friend, efficient like, in themselves. Yeah. When they don't know how to motivate themselves. Yeah. And back to what I was saying about users, I'm not saying like we don't have friends that <laughs> no, because <laughs> listen, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was <laughs> friends <laughs> with people that honestly I didn't see it at first because I'm just a genuine person. I'm like, okay, let me just help this person. But they know that I will never say no. Yeah. They know that yeah. I will Take always give it, it you. I will always yeah. give it to you some type of way. So like, oh okay, let me use let me borrow yeah, yeah. Can you take me right here real quick? I am struggling. You see me like I don't even have it, yeah. but I'm not gonna let you know that. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm just that type of person. I'm gonna give it to you. But if your friend even knows that and they continue to do that, please cut that friend. Oh, that's that, not those a friend. convenient friends. There you yeah. go. Yeah. When it's convenient for them, like, and they only call you when they need when something. Y'all yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't ever talk to you when they need some talk. Yeah. When they're going through their boyfriend problems. When it's like, just like, just I hate them. those friends. Oh my god, that's another thing. Friends who love to talk about themselves, themselves? too much. Themselves? Like, like, there's some friends. It's like, you know. Talk about themselves. Yeah. And that friend word, I'm sorry. I just thought people use the term very loosely. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's my friend. friend. Like, that's not your friend. You might have to stay stop to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, oh, no. <laughs> 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 you are acquainted, and that's about it.
about it. Yeah, my friend. No, it's such a friend. You don't know. <laughs> Hey, y'all check out my last video cause Oh yeah, you talk about it. <laughs> Next question on friends. How do you point out a fake friend? I like, feel like the thing with like jealousy, like they do yeah. when they're jealous of I me, mean, you see they do little things. Like it's always some little it's always, always, and I'm like, always like, 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 Yeah. I'll um, point out a fake friend if like that friend <laughs> if that friend like comes to me, like we're in a group and that friend comes to me and talk about the other friend in another group. Mm. Cause it's like if you come to me and if you Ooh, like, yeah, if I, I do something that you don't like, what do you do to yeah. her? Yeah. 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 So yeah. I'll pick up off that, I feel like if someone's your friend, right? Mm -hmm. You, someone else should not feel comfortable coming to me talking to them, talk about it. Yeah. Like, like if you're coming to me tell me, oh yeah, he's like yeah. this person talking about you, like why do you come like what why like you know like, why do you feel weird. comfortable? Why like, not, like you should not that should not yeah. be a comfortable they have no situation. Yeah. I feel like, like in that situation I'm not even worried about what they're saying. I'm worried about why Why, why? Yeah. 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 what are you saying? Yeah. What were you saying? Yeah. 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 kind of like jealous of you is if you're doing something good and like you can tell that they're not very happy or like they're, oh, they're, they're, they're trying to like they're trying to make out like the negative out of what you're doing instead of like you know being happy yeah they try to like make you like not feel like it's a big even if you do something that's a big deal they try to like dumb it down or like yeah, you know yeah, make it yeah. not i know another one um so someone told me like watch who's clapping just because everyone else is clapping for you mm -hmm. so those kind of people who genuinely don't have that kind of support people yeah. because they won't make it seem so obvious yeah, yeah. they see everybody kind of else mm -hmm. everybody else mm -hmm. everybody else yeah. and i hate that stay away from me with that friend <laughs> <laughs> okay i don't do the fake stuff exactly. you don't have to talk to me we don't have to talk <laughs> <I'm honest. laughs> it's like the jokes I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. Cause like with every joke, I feel like there's some truth. Mm. Like, you have to like for me, you have to be really careful with what you say because I pinpoint everything. Yeah. I'll break your sentence apart and I'm gonna analyze that. No, and <laughs> if I see something that's not adding up, like yeah. it's another stripe on your sheet. Like I'm confused, but like friends like to embarrass you. Oh, oh. that's a like, joke. Like, Telling you, yeah. like, that you, baby, like, you don't like, know. Okay, five minutes. Yeah, you know, like, five minutes. No, 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 for trips and to travel with versus an actual fruitful friendship? Um, okay, I guess my opinion on that is that I feel like for me personally, I have friends for different reasons. Like yeah, I don't, yeah. like all my friends don't serve the same purpose for me. Yeah. I have friends I can go to and talk about more emotional, deep, heavier stuff. Yeah. And I have friends that I can go out and have fun with and do parties and stuff like, and I have a great time. And that's fine, but it shouldn't be a situation where it's like, y'all don't like each other, but it, because y'all look good together when y'all go out, you're gonna stay friends with that person. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. It's bird behavior. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like you really find like your tolerance or like your friend Especially when it comes to like traveling with your mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's because like, you don't realize. Cause like, like I hear a lot of people say that oh, like it's hard living with like living with your friends. Yeah. yeah. So when you travel with them, it's like you see, damn, your you know, it's not even your true colors. It's like you see, <laughs> huh? living and traveling. Like I feel like yeah, living and traveling is a family. You know, traveling like a little short trip. Like yeah. if I live with you, oh, it's a little bit like a friendship. I'm not yeah. okay about like. But yeah. I, like it, I feel like it actually like it's kind of a good thing because it's like yeah. if y'all still remain friends after that trip, yeah, yeah, y'all like <laughs> Social friends and a fruitful friend, um, you can have that with one group because honestly, like I know, like with me, it's kind of hard because I know a lot of people, and yes, I know who my friends are because I can count them on my hands, yeah. but then at the same time. You should have a group of girls or whatever you want to call it, sisters mm -hmm. that you can. You can turn up with every time. Like when I go out, if you're gonna see the same like probably three, yeah. four people mm -hmm. with me. Yeah. And at the same time, yeah. that's who I'm gonna be crying to exactly. and yeah. saying like, oh look, like, like, I'm stressed, I can't do this, I need this, I need help. So at the same time, yes, you can have different friends for like going out and mm -hmm. having these ones, but I feel like also you should have a group 
set of friends that like for everything for that though like the, and this is what i was thinking about this actually like two days ago like not everyone could i've been on twitter sometimes i've been seeing people tweet like i wish i had a girl group like mm-hmm. not everyone's blessed to have that. that like yeah that's like true. i can say like generally i have my like friend like you will know like okay like i have a lot of friends i have a lot of friends I'm, i know a lot of people as mm-hmm. well too but like you will know like oh that like oh karen's friend like oh that's like you know karen's like like, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, karen's like sister that's like, her you know, girl. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah on love life what are the type of guys that you're going to avoid oh <laughs> they don't like for 2020 i'm just not like i'm committing to myself to not, not date and not entertain at all i need a breather i need a yeah. break so that's me me i'm trying to get married when i'm 25 so i'm open i'm not out here <laughs> Okay, I'm legit like this is a serious thing for me. Like I really want to get married. No, we are getting married in this. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, we I have four years. years. I want to get married and I want to have my children. Before so 30. I need all that to line up. Yes. <laughs> so look, I'm not out here looking for a man. You know, I'm still focused on me. I'm doing me. But if I'm like you know, if a man does come in my way and it you know it works it's out correct, then yeah. yeah. I say type of men to avoid men that talk more about your physical appearance. I'm not saying like yes, love me for you know how I look, but if you always say, oh yes, you're so thin, you're so nice, I don't like that. I'm not happy. Like don't tell me I know how my body looks. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> but don't do like that's not the first thing you need to tell me about. The girls be dating guys who don't like that. Like, yeah. It's like they don't like you. They don't respect you. Maybe that's actually they don't respect, respect you. Yeah. They don't respect you. So guys who don't respect you, that's guys that we need to stay away from. Them. Guys with no depth. Mm. Oh! Very superficial, very shallow. Like it's a lot of them out there. I'm all about money. Okay, if you're all about money, then how you gonna get this? (laughs) The guys that are too cool. Mm. The guys that are too cool to show emotion. (laughs) I hate. I hate. Like I'm I'm not not like that. Like I'm not. No, but literally, like it's 2020. Like leave that shit alone. We left that in middle school, elementary. You can literally show that you like feel (laughs) like somebody. We want to know what you're feeling. And you can't kind of feel like literally, like you have to stop impressing your friends. You're not gonna marry your friends. You're not. Your friends cannot give you kids. <laughs> like you're not gonna marry. Your friends. Like, you're doing it now, but then a couple years later, when it's time to sit down, they're gonna be looking at themselves like, what am I doing? What was I doing this whole time? I was waiting. You're gonna stay, right? stay with your friends. You can go buy a house together. <laughs> Men who are not intentional, like mm-hmm. don't That's have the any, word intentional. Don't have any kind of direction as to what they want to do with you. True. You know, you're just, you're just <laughs> They don't do what girls do. Girls are very like conscious of themselves. Yeah, I feel like yeah, a lot of guys aren't. Exactly. So then it like trans- translates to you know relationships where they they're not yeah. able to like show their feelings and stuff because they haven't taken the time to like so deal with themselves. Yeah. yeah. And so, girls do. Yeah. I feel like a lot of those guys who are like that also where was their example? I feel like guys who are like that didn't have an example. Mm, so it's like how are they gonna act a certain way that they haven't been taught how yeah. to. So yeah. it's kind of like, I feel for that, but it's like, you do have to do the like self work on yourself. Yeah. I just feel like um, when you're like approaching a girl, right? Like, and you see that she has like a certain lifestyle or she's doing certain things, like, like not saying if you're beneath her, but like make sure you're approaching a girl, you know like what you're like, what, like you are able to uphold, yeah. like, you know, yeah. match her energy, be able, yes. to, be able to come yeah. and be equally yoked. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Like, know your yeah. league, know who's in your league. Like, 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 Trying their luck. They, they do. do. That's what they do. They, they don't have the best 
surprise you, honestly. Yeah. Like even like I don't yeah. judge. I try to be open. Like I don't try to be mean. But like you know, some guys don't look the way they actually be are yeah. truly. So yes, try to give a chance. But most of the time, mm -mm. I mean, I mean like you can know though. You can know like a guy with a good head on his shoulders by the way he. They feels. start looking so, good to you. Mm -hmm. No, I was in the like the like, laughter. Same. Yeah, no, yes. That's At first, like I'm being talked to. Thinking about what you're doing and like planning. kind of calculating it like as you're doing it. More planning, more traveling, more hairstyles. More hairstyles. Oh, yeah. yeah. For 2019, one of my things was to be more open to the opportunities that came my way. Mm -hmm. And I feel like going into 2020, I also like to like live a life with no regrets. So I don't feel like I have any things that I do differently, mm -hmm. as in like I didn't do it right. But mm -hmm. like I wanna enhance that like i want to take every single opportunity i don't want to overthink it like i'm gonna just go with it if it works it works at least i did it so i'm not yeah. sitting here wondering damn what if i don't want to wonder what if in 2020. Yeah. i think for me um it's more of like learning value and longevity like i feel like i tend to do things because uh, in like a time period mm -hmm. and not like doing things continuously mm -hmm. so like especially in this decade like 2019 we had to set goal but like i want that goal to be like Continuously, even if I can, like, if I acquired it, not, mm -hmm. not being stagnant in my goal, mm -hmm. just like build, building Build off on of top it. of yeah. my lifestyle, not just to separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For me, um, I think for 2020, I, I think of 2020 is like just as a big year because it's like the beginning of a new decade, a new yeah. era of life. Like we're all at a like at a place where you know we're getting career and everything yes. together. I know in this decade I want to be married. I want to have kids. Yes. Like I know the kind of goals I have for myself. And in, in preparation to be that woman that's going to be able to thrive in that part of her life. Mm -hmm. I'm, but I see 2020 as my year of just doing the groundwork on myself, mm -hmm. on my academics, on my career, so yes, that I'll be sir. able to like reap the fruits of my labor. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so, ma'am. Just being very disciplined. If I say I'm going to do something and I'm committed to doing this, <laughs> just being about it and just doing it. Okay, guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys really do love this. Um, the goal was to obviously let somebody know that we're all going through the same thing at the end of the day and we're all going to succeed. And I feel like what's really special about this panel is that we're all coming from different backgrounds. We all have different experiences, but yeah, we can come together in a safe space to kind of talk about our growth and just kind of realize that we're all going through the same thing at the end of the day, just at different times and different situations. 2020 is a year of blessings, a year of successes, a year of getting the bag. Period. Of course, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye! Bye.